The original Wii Sports was the perfect pack-in game because it really summed up everything that the Wii was about. It was easy to grasp, but it had enough of a hook to it to keep people coming back whether they played a thousand games or just one. It showcased the Wii's motion sensing controls and let you know what they were all about. But beyond all that, it was, at its core, fun. Simple, basic fun. While that experience is the one that launched millions of sales for Nintendo's console, it's been a bit of a bumpy road for those of us with years of gaming experience. As developers chase after the millions of Wii owners who don't have a lot of hours spent with more traditional games, we've seen tons of games that attempt to duplicate the simple successes of Wii Sports. But very few of these cash-ins have succeeded. All of this makes Nintendo's return to sports-themed mini-games that much sweeter. Wii Sports Resort offers more variety and a bit more complexity without alienating that family up the street who only bought a Wii because they love bowling. Unless you're some sort of sullen misanthrope who can only feel at peace when getting headshots with some kind of virtual scope, you're surely going to find something about Wii Sports Resort that keeps you and your non-gaming friends coming back for more. Wii Sports Resort is also the big showcase for the Wii Motion Plus. It's this tiny white brick attached to a magnum-sized Wii sheath. And it makes good on all the promises that the Wii originally made back in 2006 by increasing the sensitivity of the motion sensing. Rather than the big, dopey, broad strokes you've seen previously, the Motion Plus allows for something that more closely mirrors your real-world movements in-game. It's probably the most noticeable in the sword fighting game, where you have to swing at multiple angles to get around your opponent's defense. The sword stuff ended up being my favorite game of the lot, actually. It, uh, it just feels right. There are 11 other types of games to play within Wii Sports Resort. Odds are you won't love all of them. Me, I found canoeing, cycling, frisbee, and power cruising to be my least favorite. Canoeing is just kind of tedious. Cycling doesn't replicate the act of riding a bike very well. Frisbee, actually frisbee seems really cool, but I'm just, I'm just awful at it. I can't, the dog never will, it'll never catch it. And as much as you want power cruising to be the second coming of Wave Race, it's never going to be the second coming of Wave Race. But for every cycling, there's something like table tennis, which feels great and approximates the actual act of playing ping pong surprisingly well. Just like the real thing, it's all in the wrist, as twisting your wrist will apply spin to the ball. It brings more depth to an experience that would otherwise be strictly timing-based. There's also archery, where you draw the nunchuck back like you're drawing a bow, take aim, and fire in a variety of situations. As the wind increases and your targets start moving, this becomes pretty tricky. The basketball game is mostly a three-point competition that feels like it rewards proper jump shot form. There's also a variant that lets you play three on three. This is nice because it lets you execute slam dunks by slamming the Wii Remote home, but it takes so many liberties with the rules of basketball that it's kind of clunky. Golf and bowling both appeared in the original Wii Sports and they're back in resort. The main difference is I noticed that bowling felt a lot easier because you now have a higher level of spin control on your shots. That same wrist twisting made golf a lot harder for me at first. I probably spent 30 minutes or so just slicing shots into the rough before working out the kinks in my faux swing, keeping my wrist straight, and getting a good feel for how much power is enough power. There's also an air sports section where you can skydive or fly a plane around the island. The skydiving almost seems like a tutorial designed to get you used to moving the remote with the Wii Motion Plus attached. The flying is interesting because it lets you see the whole island where every event takes place. You can buzz the area where the sword duels take place, see the different cycling courses from the sky, and so on. But that and then the two-player dogfighting aren't strong enough to keep you coming back. All of these events are based around the tropical island of Woohoo. As you might expect by Resort being right there in the name, the game has a Hawaiian shirt kind of feel to it that gives everything a bright and colorful style. It's not dramatically better than my memory of the original Wii Sports, but when you compare the two side by side, you can tell which one is newer. By offering 12 events and covering a variety of different styles, Nintendo has almost ensured that anyone who remotely liked anything about the original Wii Sports will find Wii Sports Resort to be a lot of fun. On top of that, it's still just as accessible as the original was, making it a great choice if you're looking for games to play with people who don't play a lot of games. You know what? It doesn't even need that layer of qualification. Wii Sports Resort is great.